This is Jack in the Pulpit. I don't know how the block got this name, but that's the name of this block. It's 12 inch finished. Here is the diagram. Here is what four blocks look like when they're set block to block. There are four different patches in this block, and three of them are very odd shaped. So three of them, if you're doing AccuQuilt, there are no dies for these, just for one. So patch A is a three inch finished half square triangle. If you are rotary cutting and you want to cut patches, you'll cut three and seven eighth inch squares, cut the square in half once diagonally, and you'll get two patches. For the background fabric, we need 12 patches. If we are using the method of two half square triangles at a time, we just cut the squares this size and we do not subcut them. So you'll need, for the background, 12 patches or eight patches and two squares. And we'll show you that when we put the units together. For the red fabric, you'll need four patches or two squares. If you're using AccuQuilt, here are the dies you can use to get your three inch finished half square triangle. Patch B is a two and one eighth inch finished square. I think these sizes are odd because it is set on point. This framed square here is set on point. And we'll need four patches of the background for that. Patch C is a two and one eighth inch by four and one quarter inch finished rectangle. We'll need four patches of the blue fabric. And for the D patch, we'll cut four and three quarter inch square and we need one of those patches. We'll start by putting the half square triangles together and these half square triangles are in the four corners. Then we'll make the corner unit. We'll take the half square triangle and sew a patch A to either side of it. Then we'll start making the framed square in the center. So here are the frame sides and we'll put the frame together for the center unit. Here are the patches we have and I'm going to do the half square triangles two at a time. So I have my two squares of the red and two squares of the background and these background triangles are for the corner units. This is patch B. It is the two and five eighth inch cut squares. This is patch C, the rectangle, and patch D is the center square. We'll start by doing, putting these two together to make our half square triangles, our four half square triangles. And if you're not familiar with this method, stay tuned for a short demo to show you how to do this. We're going to do these first. On the back side of the light fabric, we're going to draw a diagonal line, put the fabrics together, right sides together, and we're going to stitch on either side of the diagonal line. Here is the diagonal line drawn and then the stitching on both sides. Now we cut this in half along the diagonal line. Then we have our two half square triangles. Press the seams open and cut off the nubs. When you've done the half square triangles, you're going to add the remaining A patches to either side of the half square triangle. And you're going to add it to the sides that have the red fabric. This one will add to this side and to this side. You'll take one of these and put it together like this. And be careful of the placement because it's easy to get these wrong. And to piece this, you're going to flip this over and match this corner here. So match the top edge here and the side edge. And then stitch your quarter of an inch. Start here and stitch down. And when you sew this side, and this is the first side, we're going to trim this off even with this bottom edge. Now you're going to take the second one and stitch it this way. So you'll flip this over and match your top and your side. And when you stitch your quarter of an inch here, you're going to end up in this V, right where this points meet here in the V area. That's where your quarter of an inch will stop stitching. When you sew it, you'll have this little nub to cut off and just cut it straight off with this edge. 
Then you'll make four of these. Next we'll make the framed square in the center. You're going to take your square in two rectangles, sew the sides, sew the two rectangles to the side. Then you'll take your remaining two rectangles and sew a background square to each side. Press the seams open, now stitch the frame together. Now to put the block together, we're going to sew these corner units to each side of the block. So opposite sides first and press. When you do this, you want to find the center. The easiest way to do it is to fold it in half and place a pin right in the center and do the same thing to this, fold it and put a pin or you can just crease it and then match your folds. Stitch a quarter of an inch and then press the seams open. Thanks for watching.